people would be forced indoors, not just because of the danger, but because the air would be filled with ash particles that could clog lungs and poison water sources. By the end of the first day, tens of millions of people across the western half of the country would either be injured, displaced, or missing. Emergency broadcasts would play on repeat if they were still functioning, warning people to stay inside, wear masks, and avoid contaminated water. The U.S. government and military would begin mobilizing, but the scale of the disaster would be beyond anything ever prepared for. Entire states would essentially be cut off operating without fuel, electricity, or any connection to the outside world. And the worst part, this was still only the beginning. In the, in the next part, we'll look at what happens over the next week and month, how far the damage spreads, which cities survive, and what the world starts to look like as the ash settles. Over the next few days, the damage would grow even worse as the full effects of the asteroid hit start to unfold. California, once home to nearly 40 million people,